Good morning, everyone. I'm gonna. Good morning, everyone. Good afternoon. Good evening. I'm gonna do a review on a new episode of Log Horizon 2. In other words, it's called Log Horizon Second Season. In any cases, and it's gonna be on episode 14. That is the latest so far. So this episode right here, not too bad, you know. I mean, it might have like um gave a little off track, but it actually talks about a certain person that. Pretty much got me hooked on to her already, you know. I'm not gonna, I'm, I'm not going to lie about that. I mean, the way how she's all, the way how she is just makes me like, um, wow, dude. So if anything else, I'll just get started right away. Currently, around the beginning, we have like two players talking to each other about a girl named Kanami, who's actually the leader of the departure party that just got disbanded many, many many years ago before the apoc apocalypse probably so we see to it that the that we learn about how he met up with how he met up with her well she ended me me she ends up teaming up with like um, a procnator a blade a blade a blade master a blade a blade person I don't know and then some girl that looks like a maid and the girl and a guy that she calls froggy Nardo and Leonardo and other curses but froggy instead you know and they end up fighting these spirits whatsoever, and they are surrounded. However, a person, however, a horse created that gap, and he actually controlled that horse that that kept up with Kanami. And they talk for a bit. They go to a village, you know. They end up being in trouble with the ghoul, but they manage to take care of it like no tomorrow, thanks thanks to some kind of tactics they tactic they used. And they are informed by a girl named. Ch Chun Lu whatsoever I believe I just I think Chun Lu but all I know is she's level 90 and so forth tells her about what's up about using a raid party against these people however that did not go out so well while they got annihilated and I'm like whoa 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 hold on what and so forth and we see to it that after going on to this quest whatsoever they're doing they end up being in a they end up, they end up deciding to like um try to fight this enemy even though they are given a slight disadvantage and pretty much Kanami is like ready to fight you know while the prognator and the maid are actually non MP are like non playing characters or something I'm like whoa I didn't know that I didn't know they were just AI or something and so forth we did have a little something about like Shiro having a little like little chill in the spine about like <laughs> probably about Kanami you know and I just go like well it is what it is you know and Akachi shows up a bit and says hey what's wrong is something bothering you he goes like no I felt like I've been given a task that's impossible to me I'm like nothing's impossible impossible for you bruh not in this world not in the Log Horizon world no way and so forth Leonardo well Froggy Nardo that Kanami names him says like um says you just need a reason a need to fight you know after a long after a long thought process until daytime he decides to go fight and eventually that her horse turned into a player and he says I just use teleportation and I'm about to use my spell whatsoever and he summons a red dragon I go like smog revives from the dead <laughs> I don't know why I'm thinking about smog all the time people sorry or smog so we have Kanami, the prognator or something, one of the thirteen knights in the Log Horizon world, and the maid that's like um, a healer pretty much that uses shields in combat. And we see to it that they end up fighting, fighting like with barely any effort. Well, I don't really know that. And then we have Froggy. We have like Froggy Nardo, the guy in the frog costume, along with the dragon rider smog with him and they end up he froggy well froggy nardo managed to get him to the managed to get those two down to the forest even though they were riding a black dragon and later he ends up taking care of the the girl first which is level 89 while kanami and them take kanami and the others take on this other guy that's also level 89 the guy who's actually part who who has these tentacles whatsoever ends up making the prognator like a fall onto his knees and nothing more than puppets you know but Kanami 
punches him many times and says, hey, he's alive, he's here, I, I get excited every time I go with this guy, so you better knock yourself out or something, you know, and it ends there, he doesn't know what happened to the rest. As for um, it, Index, uh, Index, I believe, she doesn't know that Kanami's back, but in other cases, like, she's planning her next move, possibly making the next war in the Possibly making her next war in the East, which I'm pretty sure that's what Shiro is, and th this is where I, I I believe this is where um let me see here where the intact where she becomes a main antagonist for the rest of the arc, but I'm afraid we may not see that till maybe the next after the next episode after that because the next episode will be about like beginner players like um, in in the Log Horizon is about to get a material that's gonna help. A bag or something that's gonna help him out. So I don't know what to expect, but think I'm looking forward to I'm looking forward to it. You know, they might go on the quest, get some development, and see what kind of item they have to get. So hopefully something picks up, and it's gonna be about five of them by themselves. And I think I could give I could give out a guess already. So yeah, that's about it. I'm gonna end it here, people. Um, I'll see you guys in my next video, which will take about. Um, 30 minutes to 60 minutes at most. So, until then, I'll see y'all later. I'm Alpha Zero. Have a good day. Later. Peace out. Bye-bye.